I have the seventh silver key, and I am victorious! Me, Mr. Lancer! I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> Somebody gets hurt. We're taking these old rental cars and turning them into new rental cars. He's recycling. Doesn't hurt anybody. No, no, no. I rented one of these cars yesterday. I left some personal items in it. Same deal. We melt down your old personal items, make new personal items. Don't worry about it. Mm, you don't seem to understand. I'm a dynamite salesman. 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 You mean to tell me one of these cars is filled with dynamite? Yes! But I don't know which one. All of these rental cars look the same! Ah! Run for your life! Did someone say dynamite salesman? Ah, the cars smashing dynamite! Oh! <laughs> Saved my bacon. No, Biggie. It's all in a day's programming. And by the way, what did you do with the other one? Other one? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Brad. Jenny, where have you been? You almost missed your big chance. Don Prima's having another one of his world-famous parties. Invitation only. Yours truly has made the cut for the last two parties, so this time, I figure I'm a shoe in How do I get invited? Just act non-challenged. Man, who? You know, cool, laid back. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, dear. We'll hide your embarrassing position. Why are we helping this circuit jerk? I can't stand her and neither can you. Well, if we stand here, nobody can see her, understand? Uh... And it would be impossible for a certain party host to invite a certain robot to a certain party if he can't see her. In that way, we stay the center of attention. Certainly. Hey, Brad. Oh. Hey, Don. Would you like to? That'd be great. Um, I mean, cool. Thanks. Oh, by the way, have you met? The names are Brit and Tip. You social climate. Oh. And we already have our invites. Thank you. Where's Jenny? Here I am. You must be that robot girl. She would be quite a conversation piece at your party. But Dawn, I thought you wanted this party to be a formal affair.
I guess that robot wasn't programmed for personal hygiene. He, you. <laughs> Thanks. I can't believe you didn't get invited to the party, Jenny. It won't be the same without you. Oh, sorry. Why don't you just have your mom fix you up so you can go to the party? Check my odometer. I just had my 10,000 mile tuna. If she sees how wrecked I am already, mom will total me. Pick somebody up that garage can tune me up. Kind of rough looking bunch. Better let me do the talking. Hey, Holmes. What you using there? A 4 8 or an 8 16? Uh, yeah, the 4 8 That's what I would have done, too. I used to use nothing but a 3 6. But the other day I was fixing up my hog. It's not really a pig, though. It's a motorcycle. And... Uh, you guys wouldn't be interested in helping a girl get fixed up for her first fancy formal party, would you? Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. We love you! us looking like her. It's about us making her look like a piece of rubbish. And I know just the guy for the job. Tiff, could you please tell me why we're sneaking around the slums? Because this is where the mudslinger lives. Mud whom? Newsflash, the mudslinger has company. Watch the scoop now. Word on the street is that you can get the dirt on anybody. My byline is well known, and that's no soundbite. Now just give me the who, what, when, where, and why. <sighs> We're talking about literally getting the dirt on somebody. Mudslinger ain't talking about an article in the Sunday Times. Now, give me the details. Nothing's <laughs> gonna bug me today, cause I'm going to Don Prima's party. <laughs> Why, yes, Don, I love a glass of lemonade. <laughs> What's the story, mister? Headline, Teenage Robot is a Very Dirty Girl. 